Okay, today we're going to go over Cisco's Prime Infrastructure version 3.0. This is their uh, newest central management monitoring system. So I'm just going to log in and show how the thing functions. The interfaces uh, have one device in there, a Cisco ASA SourceFire or Firepower device that uh, we'll look at. <clears throat> so first thing is here's the main interface dashboard and then you have on the upper left the menu items where you can pull down dashboard monitor devices etc I'll just briefly highlight these things and go through a deeper dive later on uh, this is just a introduction to the layout of how everything is set up so you can see where everything is under um, the dashboard you have multiple options and uh, as you can see uh, you have uh, network devices and there's the uh, source fire ASA click on it and you can get the information that you uh, have in there uh, some monitoring statistics some um, SNMP information uh, you can get uh, configuration data have it back up the device and uh, do change management and then you can peruse through the other information and um, you have here the monitoring tab and then the configuration most of this as you can see is built towards the wireless WLC controllers where you can create choke points templates information uh, that you would like to add in there and uh, just going down the list here you can see there's uh, some other information some plug-and-play um, inventory you have uh, where we were just kind of at multiple points kind of jump to the same menu so in uh, network devices discover if you want to add multiple devices at the same time or manually add them maps for the wireless information topology changes etc this is an interesting section here now uh, services as you see here there's a configuration for Cisco's uh, IWAN intelligent WAN technology so this is in Cisco's uh, um, um, more precise modeling of uh, multiple WAN technologies, MPLS, hybrid, or internet-based. Um, Cisco's Meraki uh, wire, uh, firewall also does the same thing, but it's mostly point and click. This is more configuration, deeper uh, um, configuration, but you can control it from and build it from the Cisco Prime infrastructure. Once again, this is under the dashboard services IWAN. And you can see under the top right there, it says services, network services, IWAN enablement. Uh, you can also do this from the router itself. Um, the routers, I believe, need to run 15.6 for the IWAN functionality, which uses PFR3. You also have um, Cisco WAS configuration, um, mobility services uh, for wireless, as you can see in there. Uh, but I believe the IWAN functionality is one of the newest ones. <clears throat> and uh, then you can see uh, under the other sections where there's uh, uh, multiple configuration points. And then under reports, you have the standard reports where you can view dashboard reports, uh, build your own reports, etc. and add more information that you need to be in there. Um, administration dashboard where you can configure users, groups, etc. authentication mechanisms. Um, as you saw it took a little while for that to come up um, whether that's pulling from the central database or something else. Uh, as you can see you got some quick graphics uh, charting on system information, settings, licenses, uh, software updates. So software updates, this is um, version 3.0. There's already some patches out. Um, for example, when you install the patches on this unit, you have to restart the services from the command line. It will not restart them from the GUI. So you need to uh, take that into consideration. So the best thing is to get the server up and running, patch it, and then start uh, 
utilizing the information that you need. That way you don't have to restart the services in the middle of production after you get it running. Or you can always use a maintenance window and upgrade it. But um, here is the uh, the last section, the system, where you can view just uh, standard information. And uh, that's pretty much it for the um, quick overview of Cisco Prime Infrastructure 3.0. Uh, hope you enjoy this video. Uh, I'll do a more technical one, uh, how to add a device, uh, etc. later. Thank you.